Hey guys, it's Anime Case Swimming Bird. Welcome back for some more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Got a bit of mail here. Let's grab that real quick before we get going. Sweet. Man, that's a lot of stuff. I don't know how much I got sent. Uh, last time we uh, visited Heartfen's village, had a couple people over. Things were going pretty good. Looks like my peach trees are growing. That's awesome. And uh, I got a. Uh, I got a net, which is great, so I can catch this butterfly right over here. Unless my, I think my inventory might be full. Yeah, let's head to uh, retail and get rid of this stuff. I have one of those butterflies already, so I'm not too worried. Oh, there goes the train. The train, I didn't realize, actually drives by sometimes, and that's why those go down. Yeah, so we can't go through when the train goes by already. Okay, we're heading over to retail. Lots of stuff to do today. There's a new villager that I'm going to go meet, but first I just want to see what's going on over here. Let's see, the red snapper, that's uh, in the ocean. So oh, there's a dick spot right near the door. I'll have to get that. Lots of stuff to do. Lots of things to see. Let's head on in. How's it going? Oh, hello there, welcome. Anything for so Ooh, a nice picnic table for sale. I still don't know how to wake him up, but I'll figure it out. I don't want to spoil it too much. I'm guessing it's something that I can do normally that will get him up. All right, so let's sell a bunch of stuff. All this crap can be sold, I believe, since I've already donated all of this. And then I think these trash things I might have to, like, pay to do. I'll do that separate, because I can get mare points by recycling them. Look at that. There we go. Bam. My goal today is to earn enough to upgrade my house, which I think is, like, 39000 So we'll see how that works out. I should be able to get enough. There's lots of stuff to do here. I haven't gotten any foreign fruit growing, but, okay, well... The disposal fee, so it's 80 per, but I think that raises my mayor approval rating. Okay, she's taking that. I'm gonna check out this, this picnic table and who put this for sale? Picnic table. Oh, it's from Cranston. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll take it and then I'll post it for more. <laughs> I think that would be kind of funny. I haven't done this yet. Okay, so we're gonna go up here. I would like to put this picnic table up that I bought from Cranston and then I'll charge maybe like a thousand bells let's see if uh, let's see if uh, anyone will buy it for that <laughs> just mark it up I'm gonna flip everybody's stuff okay okay let's go meet uh... well first I kinda wanna head to the store we'll we'll end with uh, meeting Graham most likely the new villager I won't spoil what he is but he's an extra special villager he's a new one and uh, he's new in terms of the game as well but I think I'll do that. And also, I want to try to design a flag, but I can do that off camera. I've got a bit of an idea for it, so I think uh, I think you guys might like it. It'll suit the town of Gustin very well. Got a nice fossil. So yeah, I've got my clown nose again from City Folk, so I can continue my career at nights attending clown school, which is very nice. Let's head over here. I'm going to head into the city, and we're going to go see what's at the nooks. I ended up, uh, you probably saw somewhere in yesterday's episode, but I ended up trading my Yoshi egg for a Metroid, which I think is a good upgrade for me. What's this? Is this the Happy Homes guy? Digby, welcome to the Happy Homes Showcase of Gustin. Are you here to take a look at our lovely model homes? Sure, why not? Let's just try it out. To begin, I'll need to know your name. Could you tell me? Okay, Mr. Adam. Oh, that means you're the mayor of Gustin, right? My sister has told me about you. My sec your secretary, Isabel, is actually my twin sister. Oh, the stories I could tell you about her. She got in so much trouble when she was a pup. <laughs> Pardon me, I seem to have sidetracked our little conversation for a moment. Okay, now that I have your name, let me explain about the Happy Ho House Showcase. Uh, it's all about. In our home or showcase, we have models of Happy Home Academy members' houses on display for all to enjoy. If you activate Street Pass, you can share your home with others. Uh, in turn, you also get to see their homes, including all their lovely furniture and such. Sweet. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. So we're going to activate Street Pass, and we're going to be able to see other people's homes and stuff. We'll see what's on display. I think you can, if I go look at them, I think I can be like, hey, I like this. Can I buy this in my catalog? Or something like that. Because it seemed like, I remember uh, hearing that that was a good way to get items. So let's check it out. Oh, how do I go in? Just a second. Would you like to look around? Yep, let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. All right. He's going to follow him into the art. It's weird that there's a whole separate area <laughs> above this town devoted just to model homes. The Bluth Model Home Company. Okay, we got to save before we go in. Uh, if you if you saw the last episode, it ended kind of abruptly. 
Uh, I lost the apples that I got from Zach. Uh, I got my fishing rod back and everything, because all that was erased, but we redid a, l a lot of it, so I got my clown nose and stuff back. But unfortunately, I'll have to trade with Zach to get, uh, to get the apples back. Okay, so there's the entrance, three exhibit areas for me to view. Refer to the touch screen for a detailed map. Okay. You can buy any furniture except for items that don't happen to be for sale. Ooh, so it's going to be higher than the regular stores, but I can find rare items. That's good. Alright. Let's see if uh, you, can find, you can request the homes to leave the area if they have something gross or, <laughs> or messed up on them. Okay, let's try the one on the left first and see what home this is. I like the music here. Beep, 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 boop, beep. Oh, I think there can be multiple homes. Uh, is there nothing here? Yeah, there's none shown on the map. How do I get homes to be displayed, I wonder? Oh, birds. Sorry, little guys. Didn't mean to scare you away. I wonder if I, I have to connect with Street Pass to do that or something. I think I can do Spot Pass. I'll probably never get to do Spot Pass because, uh, I don't go around with my 3D yet. Like, I don't, I'm not around people enough to have that happen, even though a lot of people are probably playing this game. But hopefully with Street Pass I can get some cool homes. Yeah, nothing here so far. Oh well, we'll we'll come back later and maybe something will have populated or something. I don't know how this works exactly, but we'll figure it out. No biggie. Okay, let's see what he has to say. Well, hello there, can I assist you? Current model home. What is this? Hmm. Currently your house is being shown as a model home representing Gustin. Thank you for that. Okay. Okay, I'll just leave because there's nothing here. <laughs> Alright, see ya. I'll have to remember to check back there some other time, but yeah, that's that's where we can get some cool stuff. And hopefully, uh, I think if I visit others, maybe their houses will be on display there. Who knows? I think he might have mentioned that, but... Anyways, okay, so let's head over to Nookling Junction to start. I keep forgetting to show the Able Sisters items, so I'll do that as well. But we're going to start at Nookling Junction. I do have a bunch of letters I should probably read. Let me do that after we do look Nookling here. Let's head in. A shovel and a fishing rod again. Jeez. And then, what is this? A little lamp. A modern wood lamp. I kind of like that. I'll take that. I don't really care about the ping pong table much. But I like that little lamp. I think I'll replace my lantern with it. What type of paper we got for sale? Piano paper. Might as well get an extra sheet. I'm going to need to be writing some more letters. But yeah, I ended up getting a bug net, luckily, because uh, I talked to Isabel and I got to buy one from her. So I finally got my bug net. Let's see what we got in the fortune cookie. I like trying to guess from the fortune, like, what it is. Here we go. Nom 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 nom. This is like the only time my character subsists on eating fortune cookies, it seems like. Da, 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 da. There's a fortune inside. Let's see. She who wears armor today is she who may wear armor tomorrow. Is this Metroid? Hmm. Let's see. It sounds like Samus. Oops. Nope. I don't want the shovel. Just uh, just take this ticket, please. It sounds like it might be Samus's clothes or helmet or something. Here. I want to give you my ticket. I'll probably never sell to this guy. Because uh, you get more money at retail. <laughs> okay, here you go. What is it? What is it? I have to know. Avaria suit. Dun, 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 dun. Let's try it on. I think it looked pretty cool. I saw someone on Reddit got both the Varia suit and the helmet like right in a row. So, whoa! It even made a noise. And it's got a little blaster on the arm. That's pretty cool. I'll probably like display it or something. But for now, I'm going to stick to my uh, my little pattern here. I was testing out drawing. That's definitely not going to be my flag there, if you can see the, <laughs> the little goose on the bottom screen. Okay. I've got a much better design in store for the for the goose, but we'll have to, we'll save that for a little bit. I might have to, uh, to divide this up, and next time we'll go see Graham, because we're getting a little longer here. I didn't anticipate going to the Happy Homes Academy. So maybe I'll do a second episode where we go visit Graham. Let's just check out the shop real quick. Alright. What do we got back here? Ooh, what are these little shorts? What is that? Soccer shorts. I kind of like those. I like my explorer ones too, so I'm not... What is a skirt? Pep squad skirt. 
Oh, she. <laughs> so if I want to try to buy a female one, they're like, oh, is that a present? They're not like, because you can wear female articles of clothing. Hunting shirt. I think that's like a Japanese, like, worker's shirt. Oh, I should have tried it on first. Oops. Oh, well. Let's see what it looks like. I'm just, I'm very, uh, I don't save my bells very much. But yeah, it's like a kind of, it actually looks really nice to, with my, my clothes I currently have. Got these nice soccer shorts. I bet these will go well with my with my one shirt here. Let's try it out. Clothes. Yeah, those go pretty good. They fit with my thing. I think I like them better than my explorer, explorer pants. Let's go check the accessories. I want to make sure I talk to uh, Sable uh, often because she's so shy. I'm trying to break her out of her shell. Let's head over here. <sighs> what? Okay, so this is creepy. <laughs> <laughs> That's really scaring me. What is this? Curly mustache. <laughs> Let's try it on. I should try all these on, actually, while I'm at it. Wow. <laughs> Dastardly. I'll probably buy a lot of these accessories just in case other people want them, too. I want to try on the hockey mask. It's so creepy. I just need an axe and walk around with that. <laughs> okay, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm gonna just buy all these accessories. What is this one? It is Cyber Shades. I feel like Josh had some of these in my other video. He's wearing them. Eh, they're okay. They've got one of the uh, the hats over there. It looks like the Chinese, like, uh, Jung... What is it? Jung Shao? I forget what they're called. The, the zombies. Imperial. Let's try it on. It looks like it would fit my clown nose pretty well. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I'll take it. What is that one at the end? It's like a regal thing. Oh, it's like a Japanese uh, princess thing. I just want to see what that looks like. <laughs> I don't know if I'll spend the money on that one, actually. Because I don't want to use all my bells. Let's check out the fencing mask. That's not too expensive, and it looks really cool. Ugh. It's kind of creepy. Uh, I'll take it. <laughs> if I say I'll keep it on, like they just don't change me out of it, maybe? Let me try that. I'm going to get the mustache as well. I like that you... Uh... No, no. I missed it up. Okay. I like that you can uh, you can mess around with... Uh... Or you get more things each time. So, cat. Just prop that on there. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. What if I put these two together? <laughs> okay, go back to my clown nose. <laughs> I like this look for now. Got a little hat and my, my nice little clown nose. Even though it's like a Chinese imperial hat, it kind of, the color scheme fits with the clown nose. Okay, I don't have anything to donate right now, so let's head back over here. And uh, I guess we can keep, we, we can do a few more minutes. I'm, I might uh, finish up here with Nook's Homes, though. I'm trying to keep these around 15 minutes, and I'm going to try to post multiple parts so that, you know, you probably noticed that by now. Oh, Lyle's here from the Happy Home Academy or whatever. Sweet. Let me introduce you to someone. This is the Happy Home Academy's special advisor, Lyle. He's going to start coming in here on a daily basis and to offer advice on the building of wonderful homes. Hey, oh, he needs a... Uh, hey, you. Nice to meet you. Me? Like the raccoon said. I'm Lyle, the Happy Home Academy. Uh, I'm the Gustin area manager. Bang, right? You're the mayor of this burg? Lucky me. You got a house in Gooston? Congrats, you're good people. Here's the deal, the skinny. Happy Room Academy was just rooms. Now, not just one room. No, we went big. Bang, we do the whole house. We research day and night, we're the experts. Here's the truth, happy homes make happy people. It's a big step for us. Brave new world, new ball game. We're ready, here's Happy Home Academy. Uh, this right here, Nook's Homes created this space, just for a while. Bang, why me? You, opportunity, basic business, right here, right now, oh, members only. You want to talk at him? You know where to find me. Go find me. Bang. He's <laughs> a shrewd businessman. Well, you heard what he said. If you have any questions about putting your rooms together, you should ask Lyle for advice. Yes, yes. Okay, so... What is this? This front of this? A, st a stucco exterior? Nah. That's alright. What is this roof? That's kind of nice looking. The black tile roof. That's pretty expensive. But I, I like the look of it. Hmm. What is this? This looks like a doghouse. Concrete pavement. Oh, uh, that changes. Okay. 
I was like, why does that home look so weird? It's so small. I like my red mailbox. Basic door. That's expensive. Man, I gotta choose one thing if I'm gonna do a renovation. I'm using all my money on this already. I'll, I'll save, uh, when I was visiting another town, the mailbox. I think it was in Heartland. Uh, the mailbox looked nice, so. I think I might get this roof, though. I kind of like that. Black tile roof. It's got a nice, like, Japanese look to it. I'll try it out. Okay. Everything's will be completed tomorrow, and I'll have a new roof. Sweet. I'll probably forget by then. Okay. Thanks, Tom. See you later. He's still making a ton of money from all this. Okay. Well, that'll probably be it for now. I'm going to go... Sorry I teased going to visit Graham, but I'm going to do that in another episode here. And uh, we'll be back for more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.